Welcome to homework for lesson 16. This is module 5 of grade 3. Get your name on here first, please. And we're estimating to equally partition and label fractions on the number line. Label the holes as fractions and box them. The first one is done for you. So the holes, 3 thirds, that's one hole, and uh, 6 thirds is three-thirds twice, right? That's two. That's a whole number two. And then three-thirds three times is nine-thirds. That's three, right? You see the whole numbers here. So we're labeling the holes as fractions, right? So it's three-thirds, six-thirds, and nine-thirds. And we're boxing the ones that are whole numbers. So remember... In one of the earlier homework assignments, I mentioned that we want to look at those whole numbers, the endpoints on the number lines, and that eventually that they would matter. Well, that time has come. So you can see this one starts at 2 and ends at 3. So you've got to start by looking at these. Now, for a whole of 2, it takes, think about it, it takes 8 eighths, right, if I have a circle, if I have a pizza, I'm making eighths out of it. Ooh, that's really sloppy pizza. Right, if it takes, right, fourths. Eighths. Now all eight eighths is one pizza. So two whole pizzas is going to take another eight eighths. It would be sixteen eighths. Is two. Right in the middle between two and three is going to be. Now we're. This is. These are one whole apart, right? So there's going to be. This will be halfway in between, and we can do the same thing. We're making eighths out of these, right? Because there's one hole in between, so it's going to be eight parts. So we can just do halves and quarters and make our quarters into eighths. And so that's 16 eighths. This should be 17 eighths and 18 eighths, 19 eighths, and 20 eighths, right? So it'd be halfway between 2 and 3, should be 2 and 4 eighths, 21 eighths, 22 eighths, 23 eighths, and this is 24 eighths, eighths. And you should think 24 divided by 8 would be 3, so you know you got to the right place. Or 3 times 8 is 24, so that's how many you need to get 3 holes. 3 sets of 8, 24. Now we're looking, we're in between 2, and then 3, and then 4. And we need fourths. So in between two and three, we need four fourths, right? So that's halves. And they each have in half. Sorry. So now there's fourths in between. And same thing, in between three and four, we're gonna need half we're gonna need fourths. So two well, one whole would be four fourths. So two holes is eight fourths, and that's what we're going to start with. Eight fourths, and we have to put a box around that one because it's a whole number. Then we're just counting fourths now. Nine fourths, ten fourths, eleven fourths, twelve fourths, and we'll box that one because it's three holes, right? So it's three fours. It's 12. That's how many fourths it takes to make 3. Uh, 13 fourths, 14 
fourths, 15 fourths, and 16 fourths. We're going to box that one because that's four holes. And, and that's how it should be. With fourths, every fourth number should be a hole. And with just like here with eighths for part B, every eight you should get a new hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're looking at halves between three and five. Well, halfway between three and five, is, there's a number missing there. It's four. So there's a whole number that's in between three and five. And don't forget it. Uh, and so now we're going to mark halves in between these. And that's it. So three halves, right? It takes two for each half to two whole two halves to make a hole right and if you get three holes that's six halves and then seven halves and then eight halves box that one nine halves and ten halves right because it takes every uh two halves there's a hole so that's two if it happens five times you got two times five that's ten halves all right now we have fifths and now look we have we're, we've got six and nine for our whole numbers here which means in between we need a seven and an eight so here's we'll call that seven and we'll call that eight we want to have them kind of evenly spaced apart from each other so there's seven and eight there's our whole numbers and then our fifths, well, if we're starting at six, our first hole is going to be five fifths, right? And then it takes ten fifths, right? Because it's five, if we think about it, we have one coming up to six. One, two, three, four. Let me do this in the bottom. Here, let me do this down here. If we start with one, two, three, four, five, we're just thinking about the numbers that would come up to the six fifths to start with if you're not sure where to start. So this is going to be five fifths, and it's going to be another five fifths to it for each whole number. So it's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty fifths. Because every whole number, it takes another five-fifths to make it, right? So you're adding fives to get to each whole number for your numerators. And that's how we get to 30 fifths. And now we need fifths in between each of these number, these whole numbers. So in between six and seven, we need four marks makes fifths. In between seven and eight, we need one, two, three, Four marks makes five fifths, and one, two, three, four marks makes five fifths. So we have thirty fifths, and now we're just counting fifths. Thirty one fifths, thirty two fifths, thirty three fifths, thirty four fifths, thirty five fifths, and you'll recognize that seven times five is thirty five. 36 fifths, 37 fifths, 38 fifths, 39 fifths, and 40 fifths. Uh, you notice you have to start writing small when you fit all these in because there's a lot of them in between these numbers. 41 fifths. And you could, if you had to get your, give yourself some room, you could alternate above and below. As long as you end up with the whole numbers boxed above, you could kind of spread them out that way if you had to. It's better to fit them all in 
above if you can if you can jam them in there but you got to write small and carefully and so there's all your number lines partition each hole into sixths label each fraction count up as you go box the fractions that are located at the same points as whole numbers this is a lot like on the first page so each hole so in between three and four that's a hole right and then five that's another hole so in between three and five there's going to be sixths so we need five lines to make six so we could just divide it in half and then do thirds on each side like this all right so label each fraction three right these are sixths so one think about it one would be we have one and two going up to three right one would be six sixths two is going to be another six so six plus six is twelve sixths and three is going to be another six sixths so that's eighteen six twelve each is we're counting by sixes for our numerators to get to the whole number so that's this is going to be eighteen sixths and says box the fractions that are located with the whole numbers and we had 19 sixths 20 now we're just counting sixths Twenty-four six. Then you might recognize twenty-four as a multiple of six because it is. It's four. Four every every whole number takes another six sixths. So that's twenty-four. That's four times six is twenty-four. Then we need okay. We need another set of sixths in between four and five. So let's do this. And then thirds there so okay 24 25 6 26 6 27 6 28 6 29 6 and 30 6 and you might recognize that 30 as 6 times 5 right cuz we're counting by 6 is every 6 sixths you get a whole because that's how, how many it takes to make a hole. All right, partition each hole into halves. Label each fraction. So here's our holes. Four, five, six, and seven. And we're going to partition each one into halves. There, there, and there. Done. Label each fraction. Count up as you go. So how many halves is four? That's you know one half, one hole, two holes, three holes, and then we get to four, right? So one is two halves. And then two is going to be three, four halves. And three is six halves. You can see we're counting two, four, six. So four is going to be eight halves. Now you don't have to have all this stuff down. You don't have to have this stuff down here. I just did that to kind of help see how to get started if you weren't sure where to start. And now we're just counting halves nine halves, 10 halves, 11 halves, 12 halves, 13 halves, 14 halves. So every two, you're going to have a whole number. So that means the all the even numbered numerators are going to be whole numbers. So box of fractions located at the same point as whole numbers. So there's eight halves, 10 halves. 12 halves, 14 halves. Draw a number line with endpoints, zero. Now we have to draw the number line ourselves and label the endpoints. So it's the same thing we've been doing. We just have to do a little bit more of it this time. Before they gave us the number line and labeled it, now we have to draw our own and label it. So with endpoints zero and three, so zero and three, label the holes so in between zero and three it has to be one and two so and we'll evenly space them there's one and there's two think about the lines you make 
you would draw to make thirds. Uh, label the holes. Okay, done. Partition each hole into fifths. And label all the fractions from 0 to 3. Okay, so we need fifths in between. That's four lines in between. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm just guessing where these go, really. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I don't see any that look super huge or super small, so I'll say that's close enough to as close to evenly spaced as I'm going to get without using a ruler and a calculator. So there are some <laughs> there are some uh, fifth marks. So we, we start out with zero fifths. Don't forget it. Zero is where we start. And then it's now we're just counting fifths. Three fifths four fifths and here's five fifths okay and we're boxing the fractions located at the same points as whole numbers so every multiple of five is going to be a whole number five ten fifteen right six fifths seven fifths eight fifths nine fifths Ten fifths, box it, eleven fifths, twelve fifths, thirteen fifths, fourteen fifths, and fifteen fifths. So every multiple of five gets a whole number. Now technically zero is also a whole number. Maybe you don't think of it that way, but it is. Zero is a multiple of five. And now that I think of it, I'm going to go back and see if I missed anything. Because now that I missed that first one, and there's one right there. Okay, so there is one I didn't box. Sometimes it happens. It's worth going back to check it. I noticed I almost forgot to leave off that to box that first whole number and I thought maybe I did that earlier too and I just found one that I forgot to do so going back to check it sometimes you maybe you catch a mistake find yourself making a mistake and you're like oh maybe I made that before and I didn't notice it go back and look for it sometimes you may uh, you may catch one